Holland has been all about meeting the people. We can't thank enough for all the great nights and beautiful dinners that we've had together with friends, family, but also people that we don't know at all who's taken us in and just given us an experience for, for life. A misdirection what ought to be a two-way street A dead end a resolution Where the ends you hold no longer Lots of canals in Holland Everything from very busy to very small and cozy ones Blind man doesn't have to reconsider what's clearly visible to me. Without the kids for a week, there was more time to have nice dinners and just a cozy time, just the two of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holland, the kids don't have a scooter. They play around in speedboats. Crossing Isomir and coming into Enkhausen was a big achievement for us. We've managed to go all the way from Denmark to Holland, which was the original plan, and um, we did it. Back at Susie's parents' home, we had four great days with nice food, real comfort beds, and um, we had everything out of the kayaks and fixing what had to be fixed. And um, getting everything out, we had to get everything back in, and that took a while. On a calm day, we had lunch at sea, three kilometers offshore on Isomir. But ten minutes later, it looked like this. In Amsterdam, Susie's birthplace, we had a beautiful trip down through the center of town, all the small canals. We were also interviewed by the AT5 News. And here you see a little collection of the houseboats that we saw. People are very creative in Amsterdam. trying to have fun, listening to music, and yeah, just having a good time. Coming into the center of Utrecht was an experience in itself. The lock gates were still manually opened and there was people everywhere because Holland was playing World Cup football, quarterfinal. The only problem was finding a place to stay. In the end, we put up our tent in front of a sports cafe and was invited inside to see the rest of the football game.